So we've seen all of the major big tech players now, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, all striking nuclear deals. And what's so interesting about these deals is essentially they represent forward guidance for where they think demands are going to be for artificial intelligence in the years ahead. Let's break apart the deal that Microsoft is doing with Constellation Energy and Three Mile Island. There are two towers at uh, Three Mile Island. One of the towers had a meltdown back in the, the late 70s, but Never the other tower is going to come back online here in about four years. It can generate about 900 megawatts of power. That can run a million GPUs, a cluster. These, are the, these clusters are the things that these enormous models from OpenAI and Anthropic are trained on. The state of the art for cluster building today that the most advanced models are being built on are 100,000 GPUs in size. So Microsoft is telling us that in four years, they're going to need enough power to power a million GPUs. That means 10 times the number of GPUs in the next four years. So we are not done this so, CapEx bill. So Jonathan, ah, okay, if GPUs. this is, uh, ends up being forward guidance uh, in terms of uh, demand then, are you saying that even at the values that some of these names are trading at right now, they're undervalued? Correct. Oh. I do not think Wall Street appreciates what is coming. We are really, th this AI generation I think is going to be um, incredible. It is going to increase the supply of innovation dramatically in the years ahead. But there's really two steps to get there. The first step is the build and experimentation phase. And that's where we are right now. These massive investments in capital and infrastructure to build out these models, building these 10,000 GPU clusters, now 100,000 GPU clusters, and moving to a million GPU clusters. And that build and experimentation phase is going to go on for a while. But the very next thing, and we're starting to see it happen with names like a ServiceNow or a Microsoft with the adoption of Copilot or GitLab or companies like Canva, we're starting to see the application phase mm -hmm. of generative AI come through. And the productivity gains and the revenue benefits for the tech industry are yeah. really impressive. And you're drawing a lot of parallels between what's happening now with AI and what happened with, with this thing, the iPhone, right? You need patience. It takes time. The apps have to catch up. That's right. It took seven years to get the iPhone to in 50% of the households in the US. So that revolution was enormous, but it took time, mm. right? So we are early in the, the, the generation and the opportunity for generative AI, but we are confident it is coming because we are already seeing evidence from corporates really increasing their experimentation with generative AI. We're starting to hear some of the largest corporates talking about the returns they're getting on this. The numbers are very, very significant, and they're going to get it So, much Jonathan, better. listen, this is something that Shri and I have been talking about and sometimes worry about as well, and that is the whole idea of the nuclear option, right? Mm. Uh, you know, it, it's super efficient. It can be clean. Uh, it can be safe. I mean, it, this becomes not just a dollar discussion, but also a political discussion, does yeah. it not? Well, it does, um, but importantly, uh, I looked at a survey uh, out of Pennsylvania on uh, citizens of Pennsylvania's comfort with restarting a Three Mile Island, and they're fine with it, right? And that, that same survey was done five, ten years earlier, and the sentiment was very different. Consumers, citizens are starting to understand that we do have a problem with climate that needs to be addressed, and AI is only going to make matters worse. We're going to get a lot of wonderful benefits from artificial intelligence, but we need clean, cheap sources of power. To, to power that and ultimately to also allow us Are to deal with our climate crisis. Are you confident new gen nuclear is safe or safer though? Absolutely. Yeah, the, 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 well, the SMR, the small modular reactors, none of those have been deployed commercially yet, so there's still a lot of work there. But the existing nuclear power uh, infrastructure is very, very safe. Um, it is a huge source of power in the United States. It is a huge source of power in China. And throughout Europe, it is well tested, very, very safe.